We've just found out that adolescence may extend into our early 30s, which could explain why some days I feel more like a teenager than an adult. New research suggests that our brain's wiring goes through five major phases through our lives. Researchers analysed the MRI brain scans from about 3,800 people aged between 0 and 90. And here's what they found. During the first phase, which runs from age 0 to 9, the brain's wiring seems to become generally longer and more convoluted. This means it takes more time for information to pass from one brain region to another. This coincides with a time where the brain's broadening its useful connections so it can learn things like languages and playing musical instruments. In the second phase, which runs from age 9 to 32, this trend flips. During this phase, the brain's wiring becomes generally shorter and more efficient. This is a time where we're learning cognitive skills like decision making and planning. The start of this phase may be triggered by puberty, where hormonal changes can affect how the brain develops. Intriguingly, this suggests that when it comes to the general wiring of the brain, adolescence seems to run into our early 30s. Though of course there's lots of ways that we can define adolescence. The third phase is the longest, from 32 to 66. The brain changes much less with just a very gradual decrease in the efficiency of connections. Possibly this is due to us undergoing many lifestyle changes at this time, like having kids. At this point, our personalities are also pretty much locked in. The full phase from age 66 to 83 is marked by the brain maintaining connections within brain regions more than those between different brain regions. This is interesting because it's a time when our risk of brain conditions like dementia increases. The fifth phase from age 83 to 90 is when the brain seems to focus more on maintaining specific areas of connections rather than all of them. This might be because as we age, the body needs to be more careful about where it puts its resources. Understanding how the brain changes with age is important because it could help to explain why people over 65 are more at risk of conditions like dementia, whereas mental health conditions are more common in people under 25. And crucially, this could reveal ways to reduce these risks.